Okay, we're starting off our feedback February with a great question. Um, by the way, thank you for all the response. It's been really great. Just keep the questions coming. Usually when guys write me, though, they, they got about five questions, but that's okay. We'll get to them. All right, this first one, I think, is really a good question. And it says, how about memorizing tunes with so many similar things within a song? How do you keep track of it all? And I think that is a fantastic question. Because a lot of times, especially to, uh, when you're first learning jazz and jazz standards, a lot of the tunes you think, wow, they, they sound the same. You know, the, a lot of times the instrumentation is uh, the same. And so it's just the melody and the chords and uh, the lyrics that are different. So <laughs> just that. <laughs> but look at, all right, so here's the key. Number one, find as many recordings as you can of it. Vocal renditions, really important. And I would suggest this first, is learn how to sing it. If, you're, if you can't sing the tune, and you don't have to be a good singer, if you can't sing the tune, you'll never be able to play the tune because you've been singing and listening to music, humming, whistling, a lot longer than you've been playing this thing. So, you know, a lot of times you'll get confused and stuff like that. So uh, if you just uh, all of a sudden start working on learning on, on the guitar, learn the song th thoroughly with just listening to it and memorizing the words. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if you really want to learn a song fast, get the lyric sheet out for it. Get it printed up. You can get it off the internet, and watch. Look at those lyrics. Listen to the uh, somebody's recorded version of it. Get it in your head. If it's not in your head, it won't be in your fingers. So that's number one. And the lyrics are so important. That's the hook for that melody, and that's what we remember. We we're we're visual people, right? You visualize things when. When you hear the autumn leaves, you know, you see a tree or leaves blowing or something. That's how you think. So really important that you get a good visualization of, and, and the lyric is going to do that for you. Next, now, when you apply it to the guitar. Okay, when, when you sit down and learn it, just learn the single note melody. You don't have to learn a chord melody right away uh, or anything. Just learn to play. If we use the example Autumn Leaves, it's, it's a simple melody with the lyrics. The autumn leaves, dotted in gold. I've, you know, I forgot the lyrics, but <laughs> at one time I learned them. But that helps you memorize that song. So learn now to play the melody and think of the, the lyric with the melody. Really important. Now, after a while, you'll get that down. Now, the next thing is you need to associate the melody with a chord shape on the guitar. So I would take an A minor chord to D9 because that's the chords over this particular phrase. So we're going to go A minor to D, right? This is in the key of E minor or G, whatever you, however you want to look at it. And then the next line. Um, right? So then do that again. Okay. Now as we continue. So there's our A section, right? So then we do it again. Or it's uh, not the entire A section, right? Now it has a different ending. Right? All right, so now there's our complete A section, which it's, there's a lot of repetition in that. So now I'm associating the melody with a chord shape. Very important. Now, 
the next thing that you should do is you should transpose it. And I mean right away. I don't mean once after you really got it down. I mean right away. So now you're going to take it, and the best way to do it is up a whole step. Play it up a whole step or up uh, a minor third, which is up three frets. You can start up here. And just do it by the by frets, okay? Just the, the relationship of the melody to the fret. Uh, really important. All right, why do you do that? Because you're building the association between the melody and the chord. Now, a lot of guys like to do this. The autumn C minor to F. Drift by the B flat, E flat. The autumn A minor seven flat five um, uh, to a D seven. The rhythm gold G minor. Okay, so they substitute the chord for that lyric in there. That works really well too. So uh, that's another trick that you can do to really help you memorize that song. So. The last thing that you want to do is a harmonic analysis of the song if you're that advanced. Now I have things that can help you like Theory for the Road, which is on guitarcollege.net, a course that you can do in your car that will help your ear training as well as understanding harmonic progressions. And we start at the basics. So, and you know, no matter where you're at, you can jump in and get, get going on that. So that's really important because you want to say, okay, if this is uh, Autumn Leaves is in G, we're going two, five, one, four, and then two, five of six. Okay? So that's the harmonic analysis of the song, basically. And uh, now you've got the song down. So that's how that works. So does it make, make sense to you? So words, melody, Association to the chord, trans by and learn to transpose, and then learn to analyze harmonic progression. Do all that, you got the song down. Remember, the first thing is to be able to sing it. Okay? All right, hope that helps. I'll talk to you later.